If you're just getting into playing shapes, you might have come across this blueprint mechanic. Blueprints allow you to copy parts of your existing factory and paste and reuse it somewhere else. Some tasks you need to do in shapes can be very repetitive. You're always going to be mixing wine paint, painting shapes or stacking them. The only difference is going to be the inputs, but the tools you will be using will still remain the same. It would be easy to simply put down a painter. You don't need the blueprint for that. What you do need a blueprint for is putting down 8 painters at a time. Most of my blueprints consist of 8 machines. These factories work fast and I find them useful. I want to share the blueprints I use with you and explain a bit more about them. The blueprints feature unlocks on level 13. Until then you are not able to use them. Every copy and paste costs blueprint shapes. It's the blue ones with the white circle on top. It's worth putting in the time and creating a big factory manufacturing those. I find it very useful to have a marker on the map and have a secluded blueprints area far away from your real working factories. Whenever you want to use a blueprint, you simply click the marker and pick the one you need. The blueprints I use are of my design. You can get much more creative and efficient with those, but I do not believe there is any need. The space we have in this game is limitless, so don't be afraid to use it. The first blueprint we want to take a look at is painting. At first you are going to be using those simple small painters. It is most likely going to be sufficient to only use four of those at a time. Of course, feel free to use more. A small simple stack of those painters looks like this. What I like to do is use both variants and have a blueprint for each of those. So the blueprints here are both mirrored. The way you would use it, simply select the one you want copy that and say we want to paint those squares green, you will just place it down and connect the inputs. If you want the paint to come from the other side, you can just use the mirrored blueprint and note that you can also rotate those. Of course the four painters might not be enough, so here is a blueprint I would use to get 16 of those. Usually you wouldn't need rotating at the bottom, so you can simply remove that and create a blueprint of your own. Here the paint comes from the right and from the top, but you can make it come from the right as well, just like that. And the shapes come simply from the top into these tunnels and into these input ports. You would then have the same blueprint but mirrored, so the paint comes from the left side and the shapes still come from the top. Now beware spoilers, this is something you're gonna unlock at level 18. It is the double painters. This is the main blueprint I now use for painting. I have eight double painters, each uses two items and only one paint. As I said at the beginning, it's nice to use eight of those because they tend to be quite slow, but eventually they actually become faster than the conveyor belts. So you don't only need one input port like I have here, but you actually want to delete this part and really have two input conveyor belts. These do not have a mirrored variant, so the paint is always going to be coming from the right side and the shapes from the top. But again, you can rotate this as well, just not mirror it. You can also combine the painters with stackers and other sort of thing, but I find it useful to have it separate. I like to divide the task into much smaller chunks, so I wouldn't like to use it combined like this. The other blueprints I find somewhat useful which can come in handy at times, are those. These allow you to take a simple shape, take its right side and stack it onto itself on the left, whilst discarding the original left side. So here, when we take a look at the right side, it's a simple square. This blueprint cuts it all up and stacks it back together, so we've got the square. If we wanted the windmill shape, we would simply use the mirrored version of this blueprint. So here, as you can see, we're getting the windmill shapes. That, I think, is the most common use case of this blueprint. Next very important process is stacking. For stacking, I've got those two blueprints, which are again mirrored. The shapes that will be on the bottom come from the bottom side and the shapes which get stacked on top come either from the right or from the left. Most of the time it's gonna be enough to simply bring one conveyor belt with the items on the bottom and one on the left. 
but eventually when the stackers become much faster you're gonna need to bring two conveyor belts. Here I use the compact variants of the splitters and the mergers. Before you unlock these you're gonna have to use the simple balancer. I've created blueprints for that as well. So originally instead of this we would have one conveyor belt bring it to there and then these would split it into eight and then convert it right there to the stackers. Another very useful thing you're gonna need is paint mixing. Works exactly the same as the previous design, except here it doesn't matter which paint gets put into which part of the paint mixer. So whatever paint you want, you bring from the right side here and from the bottom, and here it's from the left side and the bottom. And again, you can rotate those as you wish. Originally, I would use only four of those since that was just sufficient and they looked like this. You can chain those blueprints together as you wish. Then you can create very specialized blueprints. Now to give you an example, I'm going to show you how to make the blueprint shapes using the blueprints. First we need to find the blueprint shape on the map, so we don't have to manufacture it, and we have it right here. We simply need to rotate that. Then we need to paint it blue. There is some blue paint straight down here, so what we need to do is convert those blueprint shapes down there and then use the double painters. So what I'm gonna do is select the double painters, press C to copy them and bring them somewhere here. I placed it there so that the paint can come from the right side and the shapes themselves come from the top. Now I just need to bring the shapes to the painters and they can begin painting. Here we have the blue shapes and now we need the white circles. We don't have any circles in this part of the map, so I'm gonna use this shape, cut the right side off, rotate it and stack it onto itself. For that I need to use this blueprint. I rotated the blueprint and now we have the circles. What we need now is white paint. I'm gonna take the blue, red and green we have here and use some paint mixers. First mix the blue and red, so blue comes from this side, red from this side, now we have purple and we can simply reuse this whole blueprint, place it there and now we have white paint, really effortless. We now need to paint those circles white, so again go to the blueprints, I'm gonna use the double painters, rotate the blueprints again so that the paint comes from the top, the shapes come from the left side and simply connect the paint and connect the shapes. So here we have the white circles, here we have the blue shapes and now we need to stack the circles on top of the blue shapes. Therefore we need the stackers. So we just bring it here, rotate it appropriately, stack it to there and bring the white shapes here. The white shapes are coming, now the stacking process begins and we've got the blueprint shapes. At first when you're doing this by hand it takes a really long time and it can get quite annoying. But once you unlock these blueprints this task can take no longer than a minute. It gets really fast and intuitive. It's also very easy to scale this process. If I wanted more of those shapes, I can simply copy all the parts of this factory or maybe even copy the factory whole and feed it the appropriate items. I strongly suggest you to make a big factory manufacturing those blueprint shapes. At first, when you're making this by hand, the factory is gonna be small and soon you're gonna run out of those blueprint shapes and you're gonna need them. Right now I'm at nearly 17 a second of those shapes. I've got nearly half a million of them and there's no way I'm running out anytime soon. Here you can see I even used the small painters because I haven't unlocked the double painters at that time. I really hope this helped you in your factory making process and that you have in fact learned some valuable stuff from this video. If you think I missed something, have any questions or ideas of what I should cover next, please let me know in the comments. 